All right. Now, it's really funny because my dogs don't spend much time on leads. They grow up as puppies understanding these things. Huck, come on. Good boy. Hey, come on. Good. Come on doesn't mean next to me. Come on means same, di same direction. Huck with me. Come on. Good. Wait. Good. Down. Good. Wait. Huck with me. Come on. Good. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Leave it. No problem. Yeah. Good. Leave it, Hucky. Are you a good boy or what? Hi. Come here. Wait. You wait. Go out. Farm dog. Mm -hmm. If you keep the words pure, that's what they do. It's when we clutter them together. So be as true to the words. Keep them as clean as you can. Each word has a specific meaning. Then you don't have to worry about it as you get into the more advanced stuff. Hucky, here. Here. Good. Oh, what an exciting recall. I don't care. I mean, that's all he needs to do. He came. Yeah. Come on, let's go tie you up. We're tired of you. Good dog. Yeah, but this is, this is what my dogs are like. And the beauty of this is this dog will be on a dead run after something, and I can call him. He comes right off, which I really like. Mm -hmm. So anyway, everybody has a different lifestyle, and that really determines what your dog is actually like. Not a dog in here in danger of losing its home. This just happens to be mine. So all week long, we've been working on recalls. I've done a lot of cheerleading this week, so my voice is kind of, kind of strained today, but it's OK. We had a lot of fun. Anyhow, these dogs are trained. He's a young dog. He's trained. That doesn't mean he's boring and calm. That just means he does know the exercises. This is a tough age. This is one of those adolescent dogs that he knows enough to be dangerous. He doesn't want to do it. He'll do it if you make him, maybe. Now, we can keep fighting him, and we do. I mean, that's what you end up doing, because he wants more physical stuff. He wants to go out and run. He wants to have a party. He wants to, just like any other good teenager. Yeah, because he's, what, nine months? Nine months. Nine months, yeah. He's a 17-year-old boy right in there. He is a pain in the neck. He does not want to do his homework. He does not want to do repetitious stuff that's boring. He wants to be active. He wants to take on the world. This, again, is the age when kids go into the service. And the parents are glad. Because they need somebody to get in their face and... Yep. Now, it's a very valuable time because this is the time you teach them either to be master criminals or leaders of companies, especially in a real thinking breed. An Airedale is the king of terriers. A good Airedale, there is no dog better. A dog that has made up his mind to live a life of crime, there's nothing worse. 
You get an Airedale mad at you, you don't want to get an Airedale mad at you. They wait. They strategize. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be more about the relationship than it is about you correcting him. The less correction you do, but when you do it, you make it count, the better. Now, I've put him in the center. He really doesn't have any choice. What can he really do? Evil. Nothing. So there's all sorts of opportunity to praise him. He's being a good boy. Now, if we tied you in the center of the room, you'd sit there and you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. Yeah. You'd untie the darn thing, but <laughs> we know you're kind. Yeah, yeah, but this is what you want your kids to be, is capable of doing big things, not just accepting whatever. This is an achiever. But if you can't get him to be respectful and compliant, you have a tyrant. You're smart enough to be a tyrant, but you've been raised to be nice. Because there comes a point when you need to step up, and the dog teaches you that. You don't want any child to be raised to be subservient to everything. Then you make them a victim. Good. So the dog forces you to become a leader. Good dog. I haven't given him a command. I'm praising his decision. This is so important. So if you find the dog starting to get set you up, so every time you start to do something, the dog is choosing the game, you better change the game. Now, it can go the other way, too where you teach the dog to make so many decisions that that comes back to bite you, which happened today. Now, it sounds like I do everything right, doesn't it? This morning, Kathy was here. We went to town. Kiowa was in the crate. Hucky was tied. Kiowa was crying and barking, and Hucky could not get over there to correct her. So what did Hucky do? chewed up my chair because he wanted to correct Kiowa. She needed correcting. Now, he thought I was going to kill him. I didn't. What do you think I did with him? I haven't seen him. I don't know. We haven't seen him, Pat. What are you going to tell I think I need another stone. <laughs> no. No, he went to the kennel. Now, the worst punishment you can do is deny that dog's membership in your pack. Well, look at how cute you are. Huh. Hmm. I have what he wants, don't I? Now, we have five values. Food, fun, attention. I have that. Hi, Tubby. <laughs> His problem, he's got no competition for attention. He chooses the game and he plays any game he feels like playing. If he's a good boy, he gets attention. If he's a pain in the neck, he gets attention. What's the downside? Well, I didn't give him any. I carry money, but I don't necessarily share it. Darn. Now, our goal is that this dog comes when he's called and he's polite when he gets there. How many times has he done that? He's, he's pretty good about coming when he's called. He's not perfect. Well, okay. And that's, and I, I, he should be. All right. So if you stood up within that circle, he would be polite to you? He might, he might be. He'd be rude as can be, and you know it. You can hold him. You can grab a hold of him, and you can hold him. You can holler, wait, but he's not deciding to do it. That's the point. It's not that, it's not that he doesn't know it. I know better than that. 
But he's not doing it the way you would really have a dog do it. No. Okay. So it's easy, and, and I'm not just being hard on Anita, because this is frustrating age. This dog wants to do everything 100 miles an hour. Yeah, that's the I, I, Yeah, that's kind of where I was going. All right. Now, we need this dog to be polite. Now, they enjoy walks with him. He doesn't need to go on walks. He needs to do work. He needs to have structure. He needs a walk in there. But that can't be your interaction with him because it's too free. It's too fun. It's too... Now, you take her for walks, but you work with her besides. And he needs to have you insist that he works, and the walk is the reward. But it's not one big long walk. I'd stop in the middle of it, and I'd work him wherever I was at. So he understood he's got to do it, not just in the driveway. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, this dog needs to... Uh, apply those tools, the training, on the college campus, not just here. Correct. So you need to make this just, it's all one thing. So if you say it, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on, no matter who's involved, he does it. That's it. Because if he figures out the only place he has to do it is here, you can't make me. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. He's picking and choosing. He's trained. Withholding attention, withholding the work is just awful for him. That's the worst punishment there is, is holding back the attention. Now, when he's tied where he can get into, you know, he can get into stuff, well, then you really can't stand back and ignore him. Because he'd go far enough that you wouldn't ignore him. Yeah, he'd be doing all sorts of good stuff. So it's very important that he gets some of this. When you're connected to him, you remember he's learning when you have a hold of him, how he's to act. There's no way he'd be pulling on me and there's no way he'd be challenging me. If I have a hold of him, he better not even think about it. So in being frustrated and you get angry with him, I don't blame you, I get angry with him too. But you have to address that, not just take it on yourself. I'm really upset with the duck. Okay, but he's not. Does that make sense? What a good dog. All right. Now, he would only get attention from me. Good boy. If he doesn't get the fun of getting a reaction out of you, he quits. Now, he doesn't care because you're not mean to him. You're not rough on him. You, you sound like you are. But he's not really suffering for anything. So, therefore... It, eh, it's worth it. All right. Now, we want to teach this dog how to politely come without the lead. The lead is the worst thing for you. When he was outside with us last week, he couldn't have been much better. He came to us for safety. He was pleasant. He wasn't rude. Because Hucky was babysitting. <laughs> but... That's what he needs to do, is have enough successes rather than be corrected. When the relationship is built on correction, it, it, it's not fun. When it's built on communication, then it's different. So the correction, yeah, it communicates that you aren't happy with it. And I told him that. But we want to get beyond that. So. When you set up these things, and these exercises are so cool. All right, we need some people to stand around on the black line. Now, Inga, we really need you out there. We need some rabbits. No, we need kids. Now, stand back just far enough he can't bug you. 
and bug you, he will. Yeah, you, you're supposed to be nice. I am. No. Yeah, no. There was a mouse over here. Oh, is that a mouse? Oh, a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. You know, isn't it curious? I stood next to Allison. He was perfectly polite. I walk over here where the mice are. The nuns are coming. <laughs> You're next on her list. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, Mr. Spafford. He is that kind of a guy, isn't he? What's the matter? Don't you feel good? Are you tired? Huh? Feel good. Okay. Let me get some more here. No pocket. There it is. <laughs> well, we don't even like you. Only Ron likes you. You better watch out. I'll let him. <laughs> now, it's important... Because Ron would be that neighbor that just encourages this dog to come run under the fence and be all happy. I'd be on the other side. I know you would. <laughs> you are that kind of a guy. All right. Now, this is so nice when there's a large family or you've got nice neighbors. This is a wonderful exercise. You know the game. Yeah. You're not one of them too, are you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Now, this is one slice of sausage. It goes a long ways. If you eat it, that's yours. It's all you get. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. He can smell anything. <laughs> Surprised what he can smell, huh? That dog could smell it if it was there for a year. Trust me, I got one. And he knows all the deer have been cleaned in the shed, it. too. Yeah, you can he smell it. Where does he go? Right to the door. All right. I ain't got a shot. I don't even like you. Okay, now, he can't get to any of us. Some of us know how to play the game. And it's going to be his name and the word H-E-R-E. -E. Now, little Ronnie, if he comes to you and you haven't called him, you have to turn your back on him. Gotcha. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. No, we're not, we don't have any cake. If he comes three times, I'm out of luck. All right, Allison. Angus, here. Wait. 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 You wait. Good wait. And he waits. Wait before you give it to him. He's not coming to the food, he's coming to you. Inga, you ready? Ingus, here. Wait, wait. He doesn't have to sit, all he's got to do is turn your back. No, not you. Tell him wait. Wait. You be easy. He's blowing it, not you. I'm just He doesn't get it. Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Wait. Angus. Angus. She's okay. Huh? Two lines here? Nope. Yes. Yes. This is behavior modification. You don't get what I want, what you want, till you do what we want. Yes. Here. Wait. 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 Yes. That's right. Just turn away from him. You're doing fine, honey. Here. Wait. Wait. Okay, now get it out there. Good wait. Now, that dog is trying to make her fight with him. 
No. He wants to make a game of it. Well, he got the game. This is behavior modification. Now, it takes just a shade more to get him to do it. But this is the same thing with Moji and you guys. Yeah, he'll come if you, you know, but this is her giving the command. Now, if a dog is coming into a home and it blows off grandma or it blows off, no way. Darcy. Angus here. Wait. Good. Okay. There. Excellent. Nice. Call him again, Anga. Angus. Keep going. Wait, wait. Angus, here. Wait. Good. Good. There we go. Good. Anita. Angus, here. Here. Wait. Now, it's not enough that you can drag the dog to you. That does not count. This is, now, if you're a little too far back, step just a little bit into the black line. There you go. Mary Pat. Angus here. Angus Turn here. Turn around. There you go. Angus here. See, he's deciding. Wait. Wait. See, now he's starting to give in. Yeah, because he's got to make the decision. You can't correct this into him. Uh, okay, Ronnie, you've been a good boy. Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Beautiful. Good boy. Easy. There. How pretty is that? All right, Vito, you're on. Angus, here. Angus, here. Angus here. Wade. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. All right. Let's see. Who hasn't yet? Oh, Kathy. Angus here. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. Easy. Hey, easy. Sit. Wait. Easy. There you go. Gita. Angus here. Wait. Wait. Beautiful. Now it's a recall. Yep. No. Randy hasn't, but we aren't going to call from there. Darcy, call. Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Good boy. Okay. Uh, Mary Pat, call again. Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Nice. Good. Easy. Good. Randy. Angus, here. Wait. Nice. Good. Now in this way, different people have different voices. There's no way Inga's voice is as powerful as anybody else's. But he's got to learn to come to somebody in a wheelchair. He's got to learn to come to whoever. Not just who's big and strong. Whoever. Allison? Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. Now, it's best if you get up a little bit so that, because the here would be like a recall. So you don't want to be behind that black line. It's easy to step away from him, but move back up there when you, there you go. Because when he calls, Angus, here. Here. Wait. Wait. Come here. Angus, here. 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 Angus, here. Angus, here. Wait. See, I don't have food. Isn't that cute? There. Now knock it off. Angus, here. Here. 
equate good. He went to the principal's office. Yeah, but he, he has to understand. He doesn't have a choice. And it, he isn't going to come for just food. You ready? Yeah. Call. Angus here. Wait. Nice. And by the time we get around, I think everybody had three pieces or something like that. By the time we get around the circle, the recall becomes more. Yeah. Right, Pat, you got one left? I got two. Oh, good. Angus here. Wait. Nice. Easy. Good. Now, this is how you bring a rescue dog into your home, and the dog learns to listen to everybody. You're back too far. See, when you call him in, you want to be, just wait. Ah, wait. There you go. Easy. Wait. And he corrects himself when he jumps. Isn't that cute? <laughs> nice. OK, Ron. Angus, here. Angus, here. <laughs> wait. You wait. Now that's easy. actually the stop on the recall because he's not quite up to you. So that line, he can hit it, but it'll bounce him back, which is the best thing in the world. You got some, Kathy? Angus here. Angus here. Wait. Good boy. Easy. Nice. Good boy. You got one left, Inga? Yeah. All right. Now, Inga, I gave actually four pieces to because that's the one you really want to concentrate. Randy. Nice. Nice. This is one small slice of sausage. Now, if he's really trying to go for your hands, and he was grabby. <coughs> Let me get one. I'll show you. I want a bigger piece. I want him to really think he wants to grab it. Come here. Easy. Come here. Wait. Wait. Easy. You easy. Now, I want this dog to pick food. You easy. Easy. Not grab. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do too. So if he, e you, easy. No way does he grab. Oh. Now when you're dealing with kids, you usually have them take it this way. But you train, you, easy. Good. Now you can put a second line on him and you can, you know, make him be easy. But he's just excited about the game. I don't care. You still have to be polite. Easy. Easy. Now this is this. Easy. So he's scraping pieces of that sausage off. There is no way that that's acceptable in any way, shape, or form. Now, as we got a few left, when it comes to you, tell them to sit. Now that the novelty is worn off and he's not goofy any, well, <laughs> not quite as goofy. Easy. Good. Now, once we have our understanding, you see this? This weight, this is chain wrapped in duct tape. This weight on here really takes him back if he hits it hard. He needs it. Don't care. No, I don't care. <clears throat> if he's stupid enough to keep doing it, he deserves it. You got some? Oh, you gave it away. Okay, call him. Angus, here. Tell him to sit. Sit. Now they're good, easy, good sit. And then you can tell them to wait after that. That was beautiful. Oh, no. 
Aw, darn. He doesn't care. He's a scavenger. I don't have any more food. Good boy. You got some? No, I'm not. I do. I oh, Ron does. I don't have any more food. Angus, he here. Angus, here. Wait. Sit. Good boy. Wrigley sitting. Be easy. Be easy. There you go. So you start adding more demands to this. Pretty soon you got it. He likes you. You got one? Angus here. Angus here. Wait. Sit. Easy. Easy. Boy. There you go. You got some? Yeah. All right. Angus here. Sit. Good. Good. Good boy. Oh, he's not that good. Good boy. You didn't bite her finger off. All right. Good boy, yeah. <laughs> Don't get all excited about mm, mediocre. And Anita, you got some? Nice. Now this is the dog they want. It is. That's the only one you want to live with. But you can't celebrate the other side. You can't give him attention. You can't give him anything. Attention, he doesn't care if it's good or bad. He's not afraid of it. Randy, still got some? Yep. Angus, here. Sit. Nice. Easy. Now all of a sudden, the training is kicking in. Yep. Well, when he's so excited about playing with you, which that's what he did. He got out there and he's going to play with me. Talk with him. Tie him up. Now he's turning it around, making it his own game. He's sitting before you tell him. See that? Oh, oh, man. These dogs are so sharp. It, it is. It is just evil dogs. Yes, he is. Thank you very much. Now, this is a very appropriate exercise. He needs steadiness. He doesn't need a whole bunch of fiddly things. He needs to get good at what he does. You make the variety of where you work them. You, you, you kind of use the thing in as many situations as you can. Now we're gonna we're gonna work with another dog right now, but these are all exercises. This this recall video is amazing. So it the dog changes every week. Every week it's older. And it's but you said last week, yeah, I did, but this is a new week. And once you've played that game, the dog wants a new game. He's a strategist. He's moving up levels of the chess game. No, two ways about it. Good boy, Angus. And that is right. Look at he's laying down now Steady. with people around. He's had to behave for every easy. Good. He's had to behave for every person here, including Inga. He thought he was in charge. Not even close. You're fine. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Oh boy. You better go pet him. Okay. Now, he doesn't have the attention span of a gnat, so. Yeah, but he is a young man. Now, what were you like at 17? That's what I thought. <laughs> My mom tried to put me in a priest. <laughs> you just want to get rid of it. True story. 
I got up there and go, what's this? This is where young men come to come preach. I got on the wrong bus. I was supposed to be there for three days. Just seen her face when I came home that night. I said, I don't know what I did, but it won't happen again. I don't know what it was. Oh, dear. I'm not surprised. At story. Yep. So when you talk to people, terrier people, Ron is a terrier person. Okay. So when you talk to them about what they were like at this age, that's not a big surprise. Nope. Good. So now, look at the difference in the way he is handling himself. What we just did was prove to him we can handle him at his worst. When he finally believes that, you have a trained dog. He's not good yet. Come on. Hey, come on. Easy. Wait. So we can stand and talk to neighbors. That doesn't mean he's necessarily always polite. Good wait. Tell him. Good wait, Dennis. There you go. Good wait. It doesn't mean he's finished. It means he's had success. But it takes three successful repetitions. Come on. Wait. Hey, she don't like you. Good. Hi there. Hi, how are you? She doesn't have any food for you. Good. Good. Oh, my goodness. With me. Wait. Nice. Excellent. They could give you a treat if they wanted to, but they don't want to. No, no, don't tell him that. I don't oh. want to. We don't even like dogs. Good boy. He's trying to make you like him enough to give him that treat. He doesn't know you don't have any. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. He's a self-serving little brat. I smell it. I know. You get all that juice. I actually think I still, yes, I do. With me. Hey, easy. Now, I want him also to be polite, right? Want to pet my dog? Kindly, pet, patient, easy. Hey, easy, good. Tough. Easy. I think I would think better of that, buddy. Now, the next one I'm going to go to is the hardest exercise we'll have all night. Okay, Ron, just step forward a little bit. You step back just a little bit. Okay. Now, Ron has been over here making goo-goo eyes at him because he likes this. If Ron had a red beard, they would resemble each other. <laughs> be a red line. Yeah. All right, so we need to take the worst temptation. Hey, in this dog's world right now, we won't mention names. You're fine. I know, you're very cute. But we need to show him we have control. No matter what's going on, no matter where we are, and no matter what anybody else does. So you're going to pet him like you really like him. Like I really like him. Like you really like him. Like I'm not supposed to. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, you're easy. Doing, you're doing, buddy. You better be easy. Oh, you, oh, you are a handsome Good, boy. easy. Oh, boy. You're always going to have you easy. Oh, you nice boy. Good, easy. Oh, hey, easy. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now pet him nicely and tell him what a good boy he is. Easy. Easy. Don't get in front. Easy. Turn I'm this so one. Sorry. Easy. Nice. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Easy. Good. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Good. That's good. Thanks. You're fine. Now, if we can get him 
to be respectful of the shortest one here. And we can have him respectful even with the most Airedale-like person here. We've got the full spectrum of the dog. There's none of us are all the same personality. In fact, none of us are alike. We have to teach this dog to be appropriate no matter who it is. The youngest, oldest, weakest, most limited member of this family, including somebody in a wheelchair. He's got to be respectful of that, too. We never know when it's going to happen. Anita went on vacation. Sure enough, she came home with a broken ankle. Oh, well. Well, yeah, but that happens. I know it does. You know, and we think we're going to be fine for it. We're not. Hey, good. Good point. So we need to condition this dog to listen and respect everybody in your family. Now, your family is anyone you hand that lead to or anyone you give authority to. Good job, by the way. Yeah, I mean, really we don't have a lot of kids around here. And there's not a lot of kids in the neighborhood. No, but she's awfully short. Why would you listen to her? Yeah. The same reason I ride around in the wheelchair, because that shortens. She's also got a, a smaller voice. Which Correct. Is. Correct. But l l think of all the different voices in here. Yeah. Good. Makes sense to everybody? No, this dog did great. After we got his brain rattled back in position. Because he, is, he doesn't have a conscience yet. <laughs> Go with the flow. <laughs> Good dog. There we go. Now this needs, this is more how he's handled. If you're having a problem, the walk should be a a reward for good behavior, not obligation. He wouldn't go. If he couldn't behave, he, and he'd go back in his crate. Leave him one time. What? They never forget that. If you have a horse that won't come in, shut the door in their face. They'll come in the next day. She spent the night outside a couple times. I don't mess around with that. Good dog. So you're seeing a young man, well-educated, but hasn't developed work ethics or a conscience yet. That comes with maturity.